Hello everybody, how are we doing tonight? Just wait for my game to load in, as you may have heard when uh, the timer was going. Um, oh, hang on a second, I know what I've done. I know what I've done, I've still got it switched to FS22, there we go. There we go, that's what we needed. Had it on the wrong game altogether. How are we? Everyone alright? Everyone having a good Wednesday? Let me just get everything set up now. I had to reboot my computer just before we started, so... Um, now... There we go. That's what I wanted to do. We're back. Hump day indeed, Scorp. Hump day indeed. Right. We're back on Bull's Gap. What are we doing here? <clears throat> I have to say, this was a bit of a last minute decision. Um, but I thought I would, uh, I was kind of missing it. I was feeling a bit nostalgic. So I thought I'd come back, uh, check out auction day on the old farm. But I'm uh, here going to do a bit of contracting work for one of the neighbours as well. So uh, we'll have a fun episode, get uh, get my course play fix <laughs> and my uh, GPS fix. So um, what we'll do. First things first, we'll jump along, jump in, and we'll go along to the old farm and have a look at it because uh, I've got a few plans for tonight. I bought myself a new truck, obviously. So we'll head down here. There you go, Dwight. Nearly 12 months as a member, and I appreciate you for it. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate you. And you, Ed? Two months in now. Ken's sort of turning into a bit of the furniture here. <coughs> Kenny Gillum, nice to see you. How are you? Right, so we will drive down here. Whoa, suspension on this is a bit questionable. I think I've got the support suspension on. Plus my old uh, farm shop there. Still not mastered this new G920. Do not uh, have the uh, same finesse as the old one. There's a the contracting gear. Um, we'll be jumping into that in a little while. We've got some, in fact, both of these fields, this one and this one, are ours to combine. We've got some chunky fields to get through. But like I said, we'll head to the farm first. So basically, the auction is happening today, which will determine how much money we get. And where we move to next for our next uh, for our next farm? Here's a Mills. I saw your comment a little uh, a few minutes ago, a Mills. Uh, I will uh, I will let you know. Hopefully, Nightbot's going to behave. But here we are. We're going to have one last tour around the farm. Try and uh, remember what we used to do. Do you like my new truck, by the way? Quite pleased with it. So, um, do you get to bid on the auction tray? Better than that, my friend. Better than that. So, if you remember, right back in episode one, this shed was the only thing that was here, and inside it was a little John Deere 6x4 um, six-wheeler, and, uh, and a little trailer, and that was about it. Now we've got all this kind of kit lying around. That was a pretty early purchase as well. I needed that to ship stuff up and down to the yard from the shop um, firewood huts they were a, they were a big change weren't they horses are over here I'm doing a bit of a tour and you'll find out why in a minute <clears throat> so pay attention onion uh, greenhouse it was Argy's suggestion he badgered me for days to do that uh, the eggs and the chicks they're doing their things a little broom in here you can uh, tidy up if you want there we go. And then this was our first ever kind of expansion, really, was this barn here. So we popped that up. That was very useful for a while. And the grain silo. We didn't use the grain silo very much. But uh, there we go. A uh, couple of bale trailers in there and the pickup wagon. That's uh, done us proud as well. The BGA, the cash cow of the farm as well. That's been... Uh, 
That's been a money spinner, that one, hasn't it? More recently, the TMR machine up here. And there's the old uh, disc that I bought from Argzy. That came from uh, No Creek Farms. There's the compacting stuff for the silage. Remember when we had a silage bunker here many moons ago? So there's a TMR machine as well. Um, and the bale sheds. Mr. Simulation, what happened with FS22? We're just having a bit of variety. There's only so many. <laughs> there's only so many YouTube channels that can stream uh, the same kind of content. So I thought I'd, I'd flip it back to a bit of nostalgic FS19. And I'm missing my mods. And then we fired this shed up, <clears throat> which was uh, which was big for us. It was a big improvement. There's a logging trailer and the milk tanker. They're relatively recent. We've got our old uh, workshop in here where we restored our old Fordson tractor, if you remember. That was quite a good job. Enjoyed that. I do love this uh, this modding well pack. It's so good. So much good stuff going on. Look, you can just pick up that trolley there. Pick up anything else. Oh, yeah. Electric cable, anyone? Bike. Just tons of stuff. It's great. Loads of character to them. And then we put the cow sheds in. Fireworks, how am I liking Farming, farming Simulator uh, 22? I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. It's, um, do you know what's really weird coming back in here? How hideous the frame rate is. I'm so used to like a constantly smooth game in FS22. It's, it's funny, you know, after maybe a couple of weeks of not firing up to come back in here and be like, wow, this is, this is different. This is, this is definitely different. Um, so yep, cow shed there. And uh, this very big shed that we popped in just the other day. There's the baler, uh, combine header there, and a bit of a plant. And then down here, we had our uh, little honey emporium. We've got a lot of uh, stuff going through there. We've got some fruit in the trees as well. The bees. Honey comes are empty. Honey comes are full. We've got a little bit of emptying of stuff out to do there. But there we go, that is the farm. We cut a multitude of trees down, didn't we? Hey, Mr. Mark Thor, how are you? Where did that come from? <laughs> Didn't see that. Um, and we're going to head up here. Yeah, frame rate's horrendous. You just forget very quickly, very quickly. Hey, country, how you doing? And here we go. Let's have a look at some of the kit we've got. This is the kind of kit that we had at the end. <coughs> oh, Dwight, my dude. 49.99 on the Super Chat. You are a total gentleman. That is incredibly kind of you, sir. Thank you very, very much. So there we go. We've got the workhorse here. Sorry, Args. Had to come back for one last, one last visit. Um... Wow. Cyborg. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, man. That's uh, that's amazing. Uh, the bale wrapper, that's seen some action. The new combine, the STS, which is an absolute beast. I love this. Can't wait. I know uh, JHHG's getting these ready for um, FS22, so I'm really excited about that. Really excited about that. Um, this old girl as well. I mean, how many hours has she done? 64.9 hours. All live or all on videos. How about that? Um, the feed wagon, big Volvo. There she is. With the logo on the front. Uh, and there's the old Fordson. That's been out for taking that out for a spin as well. Um, the International as well. And then the big John Deere 87. 60. And, and who could forget this old girl? And uh, and the Massey. A couple of stalwarts of the series there. Um, cracking stuff. So, now, what uh, what happens now is this. Because this isn't the focus of the episode. We're going to go and do some contracting work and the other fields will be around. If you type exclamation mark mods, M-O-D-S, in the chat, and you don't all need to do it, just one or two of you, we will see links to this save game and all of the mods. 
And that's my gift to you. So let's see, righty's done it. Let's see if this works. Let's see if I've set this up properly or I'm going to have to do it manually. I think it takes a couple of seconds usually just to register. He says, hoping. There we go. The save game and the mods. So you should be able to grab those links now. And uh, you will you will you won't get this with them all lined up in the field. Just say I set this up before the uh, um, start of the game. But you will get basically where I left it on the last episode. So you get all my cut fields. You get all the machinery. You get all the custom stuff that has been set up for me. So Mark Thor's blue class is there, um, as well. Uh, Mark did this for me as well with the logos on it. You've got the FSG Wilson pace setters. Um, loads and loads and loads of good stuff uh, to play with. Some stuff that you just can't get anywhere else. Um, so why not? My gift for you for sticking by me through uh, through the fun of this uh, through the fun of this series. Um, it is on um, Discord as well. So if you're coming to this after the after the fact. <laughs> oh, see, goals gap season two. I'll tell you what. If somebody wants to take this as the person that buys, if somebody's got a channel out. There, I know a few of you run channels. If some of you want to take this as you, the guy that buys all this stuff from me. Um, grab it, grab it, and use it. You could start as the basis for your next uh, for your next series. I've, I've no issues with that. I'd love to see where somebody took this. Um. So uh, there you go. Enjoy, my friends. Enjoy. Um, so it's got everything. You'll have the whiskey distillery, all of that stuff. Everything's in there. So um, there you go. Right. I'm going to get out of here before I start welling up. Even the... You look. Oh, you know what you do get? You know what you do, you do get, and you'll find it on this step. Look, I'm going to have to check. Let me change my uh, FOV so you can see it a bit closer. The best thing ever. The toy Jeepers Creepers truck. By Mr. Mark Thor again. I think it's possibly one of the greatest mods ever. Look at that. Such a good, such a good mod. Love it. So there you go, you'll find that on the steps of the uh, shed next to the workshop. Right, let's change it back to minus one, shall we? There we go. Oh, this is in there as well. If you want a nice truck to run around in. And there's a million quid in the bank as well when you load in the game, so. You've got everything you need. You've got all my fields and everything. So there you go. The farm is now yours. Right, what we've done while we're here, we got a little bit of a phone call from one of the neighbours uh, who's got the contractors in and needed a couple of drivers, so I said, well, I'm kicking around, not doing much. So uh, I'm going to help with uh, a little bit of combining. So we've got three fields we need to do, quite big fields as well, so we've got two combines. We've got the JHHG um, case ones here with the uh, with the floaters on which is nice I tell you like joking apart I was saying to Argsy last night in, in Discord we were having a chat and uh, Bulls Gap was the last series that I set up on the computer before I started separating all my mods out so my mod folder was there must be about 2000 mods in my base mod folder and um, Bulls Gap was some of the mods were Bulls Gap mods, 
Um, and I spent about three hours last night going through line by line and picking all the mods out from here that I had in here uh, from all the other ones. So you better, better be appreciative. <laughs> right. Let's double up on these combines, shall we? I'm going to use some course play just because I can. Did it for you guys. All did it all for you guys. That's absolutely the plan, Trey. We will take our uh, we will take our earnings from the farm, and we will uh, there will be a new series. There will be a new series coming. There we go. I found these the other day as well. I've never seen these. The dra this is the Draper header pack for New Holland and Case. I never knew there was air bars on it. Aye, me too, Scott. Completely. It's uh, much of fun not having to worry about it. There we go. Right, let's get one of them into the field. I don't want to drive, but uh, we'll have to maybe course play the. Do we want to course play these? We could course play one in another field and run two fields. Will we go back to West Texas again? It's a good question. I think Args and I were going to see how well Erlingrat was going to go um, and take it from there. Well, that's quite noisy. Can you hear me still? Do you know what, actually? I, uh, I was ready to have a bit of a grumble about how bad the graphics were. But I forget how good some of the mods are in here, right? How brilliantly some of the modders have uh, made bits and pieces for me. Although the, uh, the new combine animations are really nice. Fireworks. Unfortunately, they're all PC, mate. Well, they're not all PC. You can get a lot of them on um, on the mod hub for console as well. But uh, you'd never be allowed. You'd never be able to get the save game into your into your console, unfortunately. Right. Go. I miss cosplay so much. I was thinking that before, Mark, how many people have downloaded a, a bunch of botched mods. I'm wondering why they're getting game crashes and things like that. Genuinely, guys, at the moment. I would only get your mods from uh, from the actual in-game mod hub. There's too many people, um, too many people, just uploading any old rubbish at the moment. It's a bit like the Wild West out there. Hey, Quantum, how you doing, man? Nice to see you again. Haven't downloaded a mod yet, only a couple of scripts. That exactly that, yeah. No, I'm the same. A couple of uh, quality of life scripts. But yeah, beyond that, I've, uh, I'm have i just going to bide my time. It's going to be worth the wait. Derek Smith, I haven't got FS22, but there's an avid FS watcher on YouTube. Don't see huge difference. Except there's more variety watching. Uh, Derek, I have to say, I know I know what you mean on the face of it. Um, but the reality is um, visually it doesn't look much difference but performance wise it's, it's night and day it's like a different game it runs up I, I have mine running between 120 and 140 frames a second without so much as a, a wobble which is amazing 
Um, right, shall I? What am I going to do here? Let's do some crossplay. Let's do some crossplay, because we can. It's probably a horrible field and won't work, will it? But uh, let's see if I can remember what I'm supposed to do. Uh, cross generation. Field 14. 12 meter width. Let's do two headlights. Multiple tools. We're going to smooth. Field 14. Can't be Generate. Yeah, you see, couldn't do that. Well, that is interesting, isn't it? Well, that's not do that. Yeah, Derek, I think we'll see. Um, turn the volume down just a tad. That's very loud. Still very loud. There we go. A little bit more sensible. Am I not getting a course here? Right. Let's try again. Hmm. Field, short edges. Let's try that, shall we? Oh, something's happening. Is it going to let me or is it going to crash? I miss huge fields. I miss big maps. I miss four times maps. I want them back. I want Corseplay to crash on a live stream and things like that. Nostalgic. It is nostalgic. Oh dear. Do -do 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 -do. Talk among yourselves. Talk among yourselves. We've got the white screen of death now. <laughs> Potato mishap. I am expecting too much. I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt for a few seconds more because I hate rebooting the game. Because I want to, uh, I want to let it work itself out. But I think I may have. There we go, CC. There we go. That's an absolute disaster, though. So what we're going to do? This field is uh, questionable. So, we are going to do this, and we are going to offset it. Now I've got to remember my... got to remember my buttons. Um, now, is that metres? Because I know these are 12 metres, so it will be 6 metre offset from the centre. No, will it be 12? what happens is it going to follow me this could be a fun way of doing it hey look at that we've never done that we haven't done that for a long long time There we go. We combine him. Not even missing stuff either. Jarrett! Just wanted to say thanks again for all the great content and all the great vids on FS22. Appreciate it. Jarrett, you are very welcome, my friend. I am having a riot with FS22. I'm just starting to get a little impatient. 
I want a really, really, really mega map or two to come out now. That's going to be the icing on the cake, even more so than vehicles, actually. I just want to... I mean, the base game maps are great, right? They're fine. They help you learn the game. Actually, Hope Bay on is a really nice map. And I have to say, Erlengrat doesn't get the love it deserves. Um, I, I was really enjoying that at the weekend when Args and I were on there, so... Uh, they're good. Elm Creek has been a bit of a disappointment. It looked so good in the previews and then it just didn't uh, didn't really kind of come to fruition. Oh, nice one, Josh. I love that wheel. I have to say, I still prefer it to the G920 I've got now. I have not managed to find a sweet spot for this wheel yet. I haven't got it set up brilliantly well. Although what is coming tomorrow... I've got a suicide knob for this. A John Deere suicide knob. Off a, I, bought, I bought a lawnmower suicide knob. A John Deere one. So I'm looking forward to that arriving. Hey! MRG! I did not know you were in here when I was talking about maps. But, uh, yeah. How are the... Um, I, I saw you were saying there's a few kind of frustrating bugs with Giants editor, especially with the uh, um, textures. Is it is it holding you back at the moment, or is it all right? I think we might have done this thing where we've got three fields to do, and I'll only end up doing one of them because I'll run out of time. Oh, don't worry, there's um, definitely discussions about West Texas. Work around a lot of text issues. They've changed the system on you. Hmm, interesting. So is it a bug, or is it just completely changed and you're having to work around it? As in, it all needs to be changed for new maps? Or updated maps? Oh, he's kind of missed that corner, hasn't he? What is he up to? I have to go and fix that. It's changed. Oh, so it's a bit of kind of relearning of how to do stuff. I want... Um, I'm looking for some modders to... Uh, rustle up some new textures as well I'm not a fan there's a, I mean a lot of the new textures are lovely but there's a few I'm not a fan with the um, the combine texture looks too uh, too uniform we need to update it to fix the texture bug and add things like the animated object XML animations are running through placeables wow Hey, it's Mr. Junt. How are you, mate? Nice to see you. I've, this field's massive. Have I been on Bull's Gap this long and never realised this field was so big? Dirt bike, how's it going? Allard, you're working on a West Texas rebuild. In 19 or 22, Allard? Love the Clark Farms map. It's another MRG classic. One percent. I'm running at three percent actually on the dead zone. On my wheel. One percent gets a bit too twitchy for me. I've been on my own corner of the world. You're right there, Chef. You are right there. Quite enjoying this combine, isn't it? One of the you know when you like there's so many mods at the end of the game that uh, at the end of FS19, I just you just couldn't use them all, and there were so many good mods coming out. So it's nice to uh, nice to actually get to play with them. I'm glad I'm playing 19 tonight. I was kind of like, uh, are people going to want to watch this? 
I'm going to say 150 of you say yes, I'm going to watch this. What did you think to my sugar beet cuts vid? Hey, the man himself, Rich Acres, is in the house. How are you, mate? The creator of Bulls Gap. We call him God. Because he created this epic map. Nice to see you, man. It's been a while. How's things? Tell me good stuff. Tell me Bulls Gap is coming to 22. Make a lot of people happy. Jumps, you're still enjoying FS19 too. Good man. Good man. I kind of think... I, I kind of predicted... Might have something for 22. Ooh, how exciting. How do you get the dynamic fill planes and levels on trailers? Mine are flat. What are your settings? Um, it's nothing to do with settings. That's it's purely, however, how the modders uh, built it. So um, some will just be flat. In 22, I think the the fill planes are awesome in, in FS22. That's one of my big favourite improvements. Is uh, is how nice the fill planes are. Right, we'll get this headland done. Maybe do another maybe do another headland. Although maybe not. We'll just chuck it into uh We'll just chuck it into course into uh GPS mode. Because of course we've got GPS, so we should use it. We should use it. Chrissy Ice Gamer, how you doing mate? Nice to see you. How's things? Ten percent. We're not going to get round a full uh, full lap of the field. I might just stop here and we'll get the truck before we go any further. Let's just stop here, shall we? And the truck is here. GPS, GPS. <laughs> oh, I've got to run the long route round. The other thing the G920s are missing. A button, button in the middle of it where you can sound the horn. What kind of steering wheel doesn't have that? Truck without wheel spin. Oh, well, the novelty of being able to pull away with an empty truck. There we go. FS22 made your eyes small. <laughs> I loved uh, Wops to, Wops to put a comment in his Discord the other day, basically saying, the longer I leave it until doing uh, GPS, the better you lot are going to get at driving in straight lines, which I thought was quite funny. Race cars don't have horns. That's true. Maybe I should use my Fanatec wheel. go right no oh. that empty or not what's he doing still pumping grain out there
How are we like in FS22? I'm I'm loving the performance improvements on it. But it's very much a base game at the moment. But I think it's going to be incredible. I genuinely do. When the modders... When the real modders start to uh, get uh, stuck into it, it's going to be amazing. Too many cowboys throwing stuff up at the moment, but uh, I do think... We're going to see some epic stuff. I think maps are going to be incredible. I think they're going to be they're going to be the difference maker. Because I mean, when you look at when you look at these mods, I mean, look at these combines. We're going to get a slightly higher resolution version of these kind of combines, but all the details in them, right? They're just going to be able to up the poly count quite a lot, which is going to which is going to be brilliant. And they run smoothly as well. They'll run more smoothly. Um, but if you remember that uh, Flint Hills vid that I did the other week, the other live we did, where we were showing off um, Trailer Park Farms Combine that he'd been working on with a bunch of other modders, I'd love to see that kind of quality of detail. I'm really excited to see maps though, MRG, really excited man. I just think the performance, I mean you're going to be able to do so much more. It's so much better. Oh, have I got stuff left in here, or is that a perfect... There we go. Not a bad start. Park him in there. Turn follow me back on. I'm going to leave the pipe out on the follow me combine so we can unload without me having to turn it off again. There you go, there's a there's a welcome MRG. Rich Acres. You taught him everything he knew. Well, let's get this party started. This is my only problem with GPS on now. I've got one combine to the right of me, so I'm always going to have to drive with combine to the right. Of me. There we go. Lincoln Creek's a great map. Marvin, take care, my friend. Nairobi. Funny, I was, I was having a conversation with somebody today about how many people from different uh, countries watch my uh, channel. Which is great. Jeffro, sorry I'm late, boss. There we go. I'm going to turn that course play course off. Don't need that anymore, do we? Now we've gone old school. John Lass, how are you? Family doing good, thank you, man. Appreciate your asking, as always. Let's do another headland, shall we? Let's do another headland. He's going to get out of my way. Oh, he's doing his own thing now, is he? Yeah, well, if you're going to do that, I am going to get out of your way. Doggo is doing well. Have we got Doggo Cam? Yay! Brilliantly uh, not paying attention, as always. Look at that, half off the bed. What an absolute doofus. She's not the brightest. Right, I'm going to have to concentrate now.
I know the old uh, the helper getting a bit too big for his boots there, wasn't he? Very big, very quick, Aaron. Yes. Six months old already. Frightening. Right. Second lap. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. It's nice to see this bit of balls go. I mean, it's funny when you do you think that when you do maps that you always end up doing like a tiny bit, especially more on four time than bigger maps. You just end up working one tiny little bit of it and you never see the rest of the map. There we go. Tell you what, though, I can't remember the last time he used to follow me for two combines, and it's working well. Working really well, actually. Right, my only challenge now is can I hit this nice and square before he runs into me? My money's on. No, I can't. Well, maybe I can. That was lucky. What about Farm Sim 22 having more players than uh, Battlefront 2042 the other day? I thought that was uh, that was quite a coup for Giants. When you think that's an that's an EA title that has just been released, I know it's quite buggy, but uh, my son's playing it and he uh, he was complaining to me there's a load of load of issues with it, but uh, oh, pretty impressive, right? I'm on the farmers. Yeah, 1.5 million copies sold in two weeks. Pretty good. Pretty good. Has the following common got a wider header? No, no, Derek. They're exactly the same. He's probably taken an extra few rows, though, because uh, he's exactly measured. Right, let's try and do this again before he hits me. Come on! Oh, I have my brake on. Not bad. Now this is where it's going to go horribly wrong. I'm going to have to leave that bit. I think. I'm just going to leave that little corner there. Too risky. Sounds like you guys in the US have had a bit of an issue with your uh, deliveries as well, haven't you? With your, with your collector's editions. Um, I think they're all on a boat somewhere in the Atlantic. Take it all back now. This field doesn't feel as big anymore. Uh, it's, it is distorted, Derek, just because of my field of view. Oh, he's off! What? 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 Scott, are you comfortable telling us any more about your in real life farmer's project? Uh, I don't want to give too much away. What's this guy up to? The worker's just gone, no, you're not paying me enough, I'm off. How random was that? I think the corner, I think the turn was too tight, that was what it was. Although he looks like he's cut in the opposite way there, very odd. Very odd, oh well. Easily fixable. See? Even follow me wants to be like course play. Or a, or an in-game helper. Fine, we just uh we just play catch up. Oh, he's not close enough yet. I like oak trees. Welcome, mate. How are you doing? Yes, we gotta, we gotta get our uh, 
get our FS19 fixed still. Too much good stuff in the game still, right? So, um, Scott, real life project. I'm not going to give too much away, just because if it doesn't come off, I'm going to uh, I'm going to look a bit stupid. So, uh, but what I am doing is it, it's basically uh, talking to somebody about uh, how Farm Sim 19 and 22 isn't just a game that. You know, randoms play that actually there are farmers who farm all day and play this in the evening and that I think that's a cool thing so I'll maybe I'll maybe share more when I've uh, done a little bit more work but uh, yeah like I said if I, if I can pull it off I'll be very pleased be very pleased there's a future aim potentially to do some maybe some live farms footage on uh, on the channel. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Just going to smooth this edge off a little bit here. There we go. No Man's Land's coming to FS22. I saw that. I saw Alien Jim had posted that today. That looks good. Dirt Bike Gold, have I played FS22? Uh, you, where have you been, Dirt Bike? You must have been sleeping under a rock, mate. we um done a lot of FS22 content over the last couple of weeks. Go check it out. Go check it out. All right. Trying to think what the best edge would be to run. Why is he fuller than me? That's interesting, isn't it? Thank you, Taz. Good marketing angle for Jazz. What I'm thinking, Scott, I think there's potentially something in it. Right. I'm going to turn this way. I'm going to try and set myself up. For course for uh, auto drive. Let's see if I can do this. I know he's going to run down the outside of me. I'm okay. F I'm okay with that. Just while we get this set up. Right. There we go. If I had a nice case uh, sim dashboard screen, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? go needs an elusive hat in the bird store oh Scott I will get round to it one day man the perfectionist in me wants good quality stuff that's the problem and I've not found one that, that fits the bill yet I don't want subpar quality for my for my boys. Just ordered a tablet for SimDash. Good man. There is some very, very cool new functionality in SimDash. That's one of the things that's distracting me at the moment. It's trying to get my head around that because um, there's some cool stuff which I'm going to try and get out as quickly as... I'm working on a fence screen at the moment. Um... So I'm going to definitely uh, kind of apply some of the new settings to that. So 
So there we go. Okay, that was that was well. Uh, was pretty well timed, I think. Now, how wide is that? Is that wider than the combine? No, it looks about right. Okay. It's going to get lost behind me. Wait for him to catch up. And we'll turn at the bottom and we'll come back up here. This empty row. Cut it back out and then we'll go and get the trailer. We're going to get through this actually pretty quick. What time is it? 10 o'clock. Can I squeeze this in? 95%. Can I squeeze this little edge in here? Yes, we're going to do this. Love the big tanks on these. Has he got lost or is he still coming? Is he going to say, I can't find you anymore? Oh no, he's crawling along. Right, we'll take... The opportunity to get lined up. There we go. Oh, it's so nice using cosplay and auto drive again. What was it, Bathurst this weekend? I might have to tune in for that. Now let's see, follow me is going to behave. I'm quietly confident he is. Or is he going to go off into the bushes? Don't go off into the bushes. I thought I'd left enough space. Don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree. Yeah, turn before the tree. Yes. He was just testing the suspension. Look at that. Easy. Right, let's go get the truck. Never batted an eyelid. It's those big floaters, you can go anywhere in them. No worries at all. Derek, I'm with you, mate. Into Lagos, last race of the year, always. On a track that you could actually make a difference. Abu Dhabi, I've been to Abu Dhabi twice to see the Grand Prix and it's pretty cool, there's a spectacle but as a track it's pretty crap although they've um, tweaked it this year haven't they? apparently they've uh, changed some of the corners to make it easier to overtake we shall see Jana with the 100 Corona thank you sir, you're a gentleman thank you my friend for Bulls Gap series I think I've seen every minute of it that's, uh, that's a commitment that is thank you Jan We've noticed with some experiments that fast farming is harder on 22 combine mounts and skip crop if going too fast. Oh! I wonder if... Um, I wonder if that's the base game maps and the surface being bumpy. I wonder if when you get some good modded maps with smoother fields it'll uh, be less of an issue. What do you think, Scorp? Um, Sim Frankly, how are you mate? I haven't seen you for a while, hope you're well.
Canada's one of the greatest tracks of the year as well. Although, you've got to say, fields aren't smooth either. So maybe they're more accurate. So let's be honest, you speed boys, you're not really going for authenticity, are you? <laughs> you're going for speed, as Mr. Clarkson would say. Power! There we go. Canada 2011. Best race ever. Best race ever. Right, we're just going to sell this. See how much we've, we're going to make. A flex head. I think a flex head is probably feasible in 22. would like to think so anyway. Never realised, having always used small trailers, how uh, how little this is. Oh, you can't see your animation either. It's a bit annoying. Oh, done the rear one first. Silo dumps are way too small in 22. Yeah, I kind of think we'll see uh, an improvement on those two by the modders. Do you like the look of the new livestock in FS20? I think the animals are fab in 22. Really do. Just the, the models are a huge increase improvement on... Uh, Does Jack Fakeman know he's speaking to somebody who isn't in the chat? <laughs> right, there we go. Let's go back to the field and let's get it done. How much money will we make then? 42 grand. Not bad. Yeah, frame rates are a bit... Ooh. A bit wonky. After you've been playing uh, 22 for a couple of weeks. Right, there they are. Right, let's just pop it in the field here, shall we? Have you heard of anybody thinking of a large size cattle operation? Not dairy, but beef. Um, I don't know, actually, Derek. There will be one. Somebody will do it. I think there's a... Like I, said, there's, I think there's a bit more potential in 22 for... Uh, animals. I think it might be something that uh, we see a bit more of. The little robot feeding machines are awesome. I love that. Barbecue restaurant production placeable. I can see that coming. Barbecues, wine, and uh, 
a slaughterhouse. I would love to see a slaughterhouse. Wouldn't love to see a slaughterhouse. But you know what I mean. The bug, the pig bug is funny. Yeah. Of all the bugs that they need to fix, I, I wouldn't be sad if they... Uh, I wouldn't be sad if they forget to fix that one. And beer, yeah, we definitely need beer. For sure. I need to watch now. He's going to be full before I am. So I need to make sure that he... Uh, he doesn't just start running over crops. Yeah, when I was doing my uh, tutorial, or my kind of first look at the animals, and I fed the pigs and they went crazy. I thought it was great. Oh man, I had a long day at work today. Spent the entire day on Zoom calls, literally from 8.30 in the morning till 6pm. You could cut your own oak wood for the barbecue. I think they should put a premium price. The, the wood should be different prices depending on what trees they are. Um, Lucas, how are you my friend? Nice to see you again. Right, I'm going to skip a row, and we're going to drop in so that the other guy can um, follow us. I might need to turn out and back a bit. Oh, we're going to just chop the edge off here, which is going to be a bit annoying. It's not going to. It's not going to sit well with me. That. And he's really close to. How does he get so close? I had him at 40, I'm sure. Can I go backwards? Is he going to let me go backwards? Sorry. Just want to capture this little bit of grain and then he can follow me. Literally. As the mod suggests. He's just going to sit and wait for me now, hopefully. Now I'm going to have to go wide, aren't I? Skip the first one. So I don't want this one. This is where he's going to run. I am going to run in this one. Yep. Go. Quickly get out of his way. He's going to run off now, isn't he? Oh, he's not. I've done it wrong, am I? Oh, my doofus. Am I? Oh, no, he's working it out. Thought I'd done it wrong then, but I haven't. Any chance you could do a vid setting at your graphic settings for Farm Sim? Maybe some advice on what to look at? I know of all different rigs, so the answers will vary. Yeah, no, no worries. Um... I have to say, anybody with an RTX card, I found a trick today which really boosts the graphics. In your 3D settings, you want to turn on graphics scaling if you've not already done it. Um, so basically, you can out... It'll output graphics at a higher resolution at your resolution. Um, so my screen now is running the equivalent of 4K pixels on a 1920 by 1080 display. It kind of interpolates some of the stuff. And when I flipped it over, um, it was like, whoa. It was like high fidelity. Really, really good stuff. So definitely uh, definitely check that setting. Oh, it did make my screens flicker for about three minutes while it set it up. And I panicked. Seriously, let me see if I can um, let me see if I can load it up. Right, stop. Let me see if I can demo it. Um, it's in your GeForce settings, so you want to go into. Hang on a sec. Let me get this 
to do what it needs to do you're going to still see my full screen on you yes so um let me pull this up and then i'll switch to my screen nvidia settings so control panel um one sec let's go let's go uh screen yes there we go that's the one we wanted so this is your control panel so if you're on your desktop right click and you should have nvidia control panel in there <laughs> make a video short on this uh, if you go down to manage 3d settings you will come down here and image scaling will be off um turn it on and uh I think there's a few different options. I just left mine at 50%, which was the lowest. You can bump it up further if you want. Um, and, and then reboot. And it's just... It's ridiculous. Um, obviously, it puts a little bit more pressure on your GPU. But if you've got an RTX card, you should be fine. Um, I run 1080p anyway. I don't see any benefit in running 4K. Because YouTube um, compresses the hell out of it anyway. So what I do is I record as a very high res for um, I record at a very high res, sorry, a high bit rate for 1080p, get the quality, and then upscale it because YouTube will pull it apart anyway. Um, and then I get the nice VP9 codec, um, and you can run it in 4K. Um, so that that's my kind of workaround. It's worked well for me really does doesn't it Taz so basically it's basically upscaling um, giving you a higher resolution on your same screen ah Scorp's on, Scorp's on 1440 anyway so you should still work for your Scorp you should go up to 4k It's, everything's just sharper a lot more vivid and um, they leave it off by default but uh, what did I think of the welding pics of ESAB it's like uh, somebody put it in there it's like uh, <laughs> Bruce Willis in Armageddon And I haven't, I haven't actually tried that that setting because I just set it as my default setting now. So everything, even my like Windows desktop and my um, my icons for my programs and stuff like that, everything just went bing, super brightly, super brightly, super bright. It looks like Tyson Fury. I'm not sure Isa, but thank you for that one, Dwight. <laughs> I think you might be offended by that one. lined up we're making progress through this field actually Thought it would take us longer than this but once we've got going we're doing all right and i have to say follow me is um doing us proud you forget what a wide berth they take actually because he's running offset by 12 meters Now, is he going to line himself up? Yep, there he goes. Look at that. Brilliant. Ah, oh, GPS. How we miss you. But we also know Wobster's working on it, so... Not long, we've just got to be patient. As Ben Kenobi once said... Oh, Tom Green. <laughs> right. I don't think we're going to get through all fe three fields. What is it? Quarter past ten. Or wow! We've been going for an hour and a quarter already. Kind of blink and you miss it, right? Blink and you miss it. Oh, 
so what's people view just out of interest how how much more fs19 content do you fancy seeing um i kind of feel like at the moment yeah i'm playing on a hope bay on but i think that's the only map i'm going to do a series on at the moment and it's going to be relatively loose series i'm not going to um I'm not going to go kind of hard store, hardcore with the storyline and all of that stuff until we've got some better maps. Um, plus, like, everybody is doing uh, a series on Elm Creek, so I'm going to steer well clear of that one. You know me. don't like to do what everybody else is doing. Which is kind of hard with 22, because there's only so much you can do at the moment. It's like the tutorials. That, like, I see five different versions of the tutorials kicking around. Um... And people, you know, people will uh, people will watch the ones that they want to watch, right? So, uh, so from that perspective, I don't think it's a big issue. People have their kind of YouTubers they follow and they get their information from. So, uh, there's there's plenty of space for everyone. Take care, pleasant. Right, I'm just trying to see if this guy's going to get to the end of the row or not before. Exactly, need a map to create the inspiration. Totally do. Totally do. Um, and again, I just don't think the... Uh, 94. Hmm. What do we think? we get the end of this row? Go a little bit further away. I'll stop here. We'll get the truck. But there's definitely potential as soon as we get some nice maps. Again, we're going to have the same problem though as well, right? We're going to have um, the first map or two that comes down, like Carmsden. Everybody's going to play Carmsden, right? One, because it looks incredible. But two, if it's going to be one of the one of the first maps out. Um, people aren't really going to have a choice but to play it and everyone's going to be so desperate to play it when the first map comes out I think uh, I think that uh, it will have an impact so uh, yeah I think we'd maybe MRG is going to look after me like he said he'll try and get me a map that would be good wouldn't it I need to sit down and get my head around Giants Editor as well and get a, get a logo on my trucks again. So you don't want me to build you a giant horse farm on Elm Creek. <laughs> Earl and Grat. Earl and Grat I can see being my, uh, my go-to map long term. More FS19. All right, John. We'll do, so, we'll do a bit more. We'll mix it up a bit. Cosplay will be ready for FS22. It's going to take a long time to get that one done, I think. I think we'll be waiting six months. Ah, oh, thank you, Skunk. That's very good of you. My best bet would be we're six months away from Cosplay, yet. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's a, a whole... I think they're taking the opportunity to do a wholesale rewrite of it. Do I use a GPS mod for my combat? I do indeed, Isaiah. Yes. Peace River Mega Contracting. Stemmy struggle pulling trailers in FS22. Proud American. There is a bug with the, the Mack trucks that they don't have any grip to them, so they just wheel spin. I think it's a known bug which they're going to fix in the next patch. And contracts is another thing they're going to fix. So there's a few there's a few game breakers that kind of I think spoil things. Um, 
and I do think uh, I do think they'll rectify those pretty quickly. Right, skip one. Next one, see if he can work it out for himself. There we go. Turn it back on. Close this pipe. Mm, we made it. I have to say, I've been very impressed with this. I think it's turn right there. I'll maybe miss a couple of stalks. Oh no, we got them all. Very nice. I would say they're probably two of the most annoying bugs I've found are uh, are the trucks not being able to pull anything. Uh, contracts is annoying. They're the two things that scream. I think a few people have issues with filling up water and stuff. Admiral Wombat, good day to you, sir. How are you? Pace Tiger versus Quad Track, just wheeled versus track, nothing else different. Or just personal preference. I like them both, to be honest. I like them both. I like trips on a trips on a Steiger. But then again, what's well, not to like that Carl Farms model of the the quad track. Wow. Great mod. Oh, sorry. Don't like you on an on screen kind of suggests that the server's not appearing. So the server bug, they have just been overwhelmed by uh, the amount of uh, people playing the game. They just can't believe it. Miss having a quadra. I think, well, Carl Farm's already said he's working on it, isn't he? So, um... He said he's already got that lined up for uh, reworking, but he's going to take his time and make it brilliant. So I understand, right, okay, it's not... Uh, I was trying to explain this the other day. So you you buy your server from Nitrado or Game Servers or G-Portal or whoever. Um, but all of those servers then get directed to Giants for the list. So when you in the game, the list that appears with all the servers on, that's managed by Giants or whoever looks after their servers. That's the bit that's breaking because of the load on it from so many server connections. Um, it's not actually your Nitrado server or your the, the actual server you've paid for. It's not that. It's on Giants' site. So uh, that's why they're trying to frantically fix it because they just never predicted the volume, I think, that was going to go through it. But once you get connected, they like your server runs smooth as anything. So like Args and I jumped onto Erlinger, it took us about five times to five times to connect. But um, once we were in the game, smooth as a smooth as anything. There's no there's no performance issues with the servers. Must be a giant issue. See what you did there, Scott. Yeah, a direct way to connect to the servers would be nice. But I don't think there's an option for that in the game, which is unfortunate. It was more dedicated. So yeah, I got a week free from Nitrado for because uh, they said just it wasn't up to our our standards. I think they just were overwhelmed as well. Uh, Arcs is not here, Scorp, so you, somebody's got to carry the, the bad joke. Oh, here he is. He heard a dad joke and he turned up. He connected first and then kept booting me every time I tried. It was a fun little game. <laughs> Do you need to rent a server just to play with one friend? Then No, you don't need to, Derek. You can just set up your own local connection. So you can start a multiplayer game and it runs from your PC and your friend can connect into your PC and play. So you've got uh, you've got that as an option if you just want to play a two-person game. 
Henry, good evening, how are you? Yeah, not, I know what you mean. It's, um, it is frustrating at the moment. Local connection stuff works fine. If you've both got good internet connections, local, I did it with um, Kadirk in the live stream there. And it was fine until I broke his, uh, until I broke his Discord voice. Lurking in and out of phone calls at work. Can't miss a good or bad dad joke. Dad jokes are life, right? Local not so good on crossplay. Oh, okay, fair enough. Hadn't thought about that. Just need a friend. <laughs> oh, Derek. This is fun. This is more fun than I was. I was like, oh, am I, am I going to enjoy this? Now I know 22's there. I'm loving this. Boomer, so a German guy that's a sort of GPS mod work. And we've got an uh, enhanced vehicle that has got a straight line tool in it. But it's not really GPS. Not, not like... Not like Wopster's version, so um, hey, there you go. Not nuts. Uh, Not's been using the ArgZ series for finding his uh, collectibles. It is the best one. No offense to anybody else that's done them, but nobody's done it to the detail that ArgZ has. It's brilliant, straight to the point. Really clean, really kind of decent instructions, so check it out. I think it nearly killed him making it, but... Morgan the Deer Man, what am I doing in FS19? I am combining. Can I show the map, please? Yes, sure, Henry. just run to the end of this road. In fact, I won't run to the end of the road because that will cause me... Oh, he's off again. Look, is he doing laps there? There you go, Henry. There is the map. Great little map. Nice sized fields for a standard sized map. Um, got everything you need in here. Nice and clean. All these cell points up here. I've added a few. They're added by me. All this is added by me. But uh, your base game setting. Sawmill there. Dairy there. Main farm is here, which is good. You've got a couple of other options for farms. One up there, which has got some cattle attached to it. Shop here, like I said, grain. And uh, sell points, seed, fertilizer, purchase points, things like that. Very good. Hugs is good. I think they call them porches, Scorp. I think they call them Ferraris, actually, not porches. Another dad joke. Is it on the mod top? No, Henry. Henry. It's um, it's in the link in the description, though. It's called Bull's Gap. Um, I'm a combine missing. Go.
Grant, nice to see you. Well, do you know what? I'll run this. We've pretty much got most of the field done now, so we could probably just run this. Get it finished off. And we'll try again at running course play in field two. Yeah, he's just decided he wants to sit and lean against the tree. So we're going to have to go and unload again before... Uh, before the end of the field. I was kind of hoping we might squeeze it all into one load, but it doesn't look that way. Hey Grant, how you doing man? Nice to see you. Really think FS22 is less about farming and a whole lot of transporting pallets and lettuce. It's all about the lettuce. It's all about the lettuce. I I, I think you're right, Hendrik. Until the, until we get some proper farm maps, some big farming maps, I think you're right. It is a little bit production heavy at the moment. I, oh, I love the productions, actually. I think they've done a really good job with those. The variety is good. Although I am not making a cake. Looks like a total pain in the backside. DM Pearson, where's the auction? I was looking for a big butt blonde thrashing machine. <laughs> Nut, yeah. They do that in Scotland because it's cold all the time. I tell you, if it's, even if the sun comes out, people are kind of running around in shorts and t-shirts. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. Ninety-nine percent. Right. Let's get this guy unloaded. Does cosplay work for you when you load it in with your map, Isaiah? Yes it does. Yes it does. Maybe I could get the rest of the field in this. I'm not going to actually, because there's some in the other combine. He's wedged against the tree. Oops. There we go. Why do I not? Be sensible. Jump through all of the kit. Of course, I've gone the wrong way. Find my combine that's wedged against the tree. Let's drive him while the other one's unloading. I'm a genius. doesn't get cold in Scotland, Canada we get cold. Yeah, it's kind of plays at being, but you get warm in the summer. We just stay cold. It's just this constant grey. if we can get all this into this no 60% I can't see we're going to do that minus 9 jeez
it's kind of a funny shaped feel of this bit, isn't it? Oh, maybe this will go in 40%, although I've said that before and I've just gone up 7% in just that short pass there, so. You were bragging how hot it was in the summer, saying we don't have the aircon. It was hot this summer, though. We're not designed for it. We're not designed for extremes. We're designed for like a window of like 10 degrees different. Minus 25. I've stood, I was, um, I snowboarded in Whistler a few years ago. And I remember it being about minus 30 one day. And uh, breathing in. And the moment you breathed in, it kind of started to freeze the inside of your nose. And then you blew out and it melted it again. Breathed in and it froze and melted. Weird, weird experience. Pretty cool, like, but weird as well. You kind of had to have everything covered. That's rusty. <laughs> they don't, no Scots tan. They go from pale blue to white, and that's about it. They're almost transparent. They're so pale. Am I going to practice logging on 20? Oh, I had a little bit of a play around with it on our multiplayer on the on the weekend there. Um, I definitely think there's a bit of a difference to the physics. I've had a lot more success and a lot more enjoyment loading. Not really tried it with logs yet, but certainly with the pallets and the forklifts. Ignoring the stuff that gets stuck under the ground, but uh, uh, the actual... Um, mechanics of unloading and loading pallets feels better to me so um, yeah I'm uh, I'm intrigued to see with a bit more testing and a bit more practice if it's uh, if it's achievable who was I kidding that would get all of this into one combine There is FDR having issues because of the change getting their mods. What's the Gino you know specifics about what the change is, KR? Because I've, I've been looking around, but I'm struggling to find any clear info on the... You're at work and can't download the, and mods on the map. Are you going to make it available? To, bearded, it's already in the, the Discord, mate, in the, in the Bulls Gap channel, yes. So it's there. It's there if you're on the Discord, yeah. Like a combine tag team, look at that. It was quite disastrous, our oil and gas logging. Take care, bearded man. Nice to see you. Son of Ragnar, it's been a long time since I've seen you. How are you, mate? Nice to see you. Have I had a full-scale production chain running yet? Uh, find a bottleneck for cereal production. Honey pallets taking a long time to load versus the input needs to saturate the factory. I haven't actually really used productions in anger. Uh, only because... Um, only because I haven't really started a farm in anger either
I think uh, I'm going to wait until, like I said, I'm going to wait until we've got a decent map. And I would like a couple of kind of tweaked production chains as well. You know what? If I'm cutting barley, I wouldn't mind a brewery. I'll make some beer. And somebody design an FSG craft brewery if... Uh, Clutch gets the K-Bot Brewery on uh, Red River Valley. I want uh, I want the FSG. I want the FSG uh, craft beer ale house. I think we'll see all of these all of this stuff come. I saw the I saw we've got a couple out already. The lime factory, which is a much better use of rocks in my opinion, as opposed to the the rock crusher, crusher which is just a kind of excuse to get money. Which you came out would like to see on twenty two. Oh, I would love to see Oakfield Farm come back. Love that map. One of the early maps I played, and still one of the nicest maps I've played uh, from a UK perspective. Good question, Graham. Wine, yep. Yeah. And we're looking forward to Italia map coming back. Because that was already prepped for wine. Yeah, Carmson's going to be amazing, right? There's absolutely no question. Carmson's going to be amazing. Grab these last little bits. I'm looking for... Oh, Renaboo's going to be incredible as well. That might be... I might be saving myself for Renaboo. I might get Jules joysticks. Because, like, I need another input plugged into my computer. I've currently got two steering wheels, two sets of pedals, a gear shifter, a PlayStation 4 controller, a side panel... Two keyboards, two mice, a jog shuttle for controlling video stuff, and an iPad or a or a Android tablet. Surprised me not had any conflicts with the connectors. Oakfield extended, that would be nice, wouldn't it? A four times version of Oakfield. Yeah, I know what you mean, Admiral. It is hard, isn't it? Like, things you almost take for granted. That something's just a kind of press of a button. And you're like, wait a minute. Me typing in console commands instead of... Uh, instead of just going into easy dev has been a challenge. Especially as they change the commands as well. Uh, what wheel the way I use a Logitech G920, Darren. Just changed from the uh, heavy equipment bundle pack, which I liked as a wheel. It's very responsive. Not the not the greatest build quality, very plasticky. But I ran it for a year and it was solid as. But um, I wanted to upgrade for 22 because of the gear shifter, so you could run manual gears, um, and that is good fun actually on 22 when you've set it up right. Just use G29 and farm some control that. Right. I would say two more passes after this one, and that is one field done. And then what we'll do. Oh, I'm going to have some grain left in this, aren't I? What we will do then... Is go and sell that load. Oh, we'll go and get another trailer. We'll unload this combine and we'll set these off in the next field. Keyboard tractor driver. I tell you, when I got my wheel, it was a different game. 
Farm Sim was fun until I got a wheel, and then Farm Sim was really fun. The only thing I complain about is I have to reach around the sides of my keyboard to uh, uh, my steering wheel to edit using my keyboard and stuff. One day, when I can afford it, I'll have two computers, one for editing and one for playing games. It's all done off one at the moment. Right, here we go. Oh, I don't know, Scorp. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. Fifty percent of a load in here. That is a lot. Timed it. Oh, crikey, it's nearly 11. Right, we'll start the other field running. Get a bit of course play action going if we can, if the field shape will let us. And then we will uh, we'll run the grain cart one more time. What field have we got next, actually? Um, field. 13 or 7. Let's go for 7. Because it's, it's dead across the road. Turn those off. Different crop though as well, which is slightly annoying. Alright, no cars coming. make it so that the truck doesn't have to go as far and we'll run it down this edge. There we go, nice. He's full but we'll not worry about him yet. Um, here he is. I'll use this guy. Remember, guys, if you haven't already, hit exclamation mark, one of you, just one of you, hit exclamation mark mods and you can get uh, this game save with this recut field, all these, basically this farmyard and everything which was not on the original map, you can get it for yourself now, because I've released all the mods and the game save so you can play Bulls Gap. And there's some, and there's some exclusives in here like these FSG trailers with the logos on and uh, Jeepers Creepers toy truck things like that so yeah I agree Args let's see some new maps I'd, I'd happily wait a bit longer for some new new stuff I never got on, I never got on with Lone Oak really either I have to say. And I thought it was a bit uh, bland. Am I allowed to say that? I'm going to offend somebody by saying that. Just tab our way through. I don't know why I just don't click on the one that I want to... It's just the height of laziness. Where's my, where's my white truck? There he is. Uh, right, let's do the combines first. Get them running. Hold me piping. I'd love to see a, a good New Zealand map, that'd be awesome. 
or some massive, massive Aussie maps. More Canadian maps as well. Peace River. I would love to see like variants on Peace River. Alright, let's try this again. Let's see if this field will let it play. Play nice. Uh, course generation, field 7, multiple tools, headlong passes, we're not doing short edges, we're going to go around, and we're going to do, yeah, just the one, clockwise, turn corners, up and down, 12 metres, multiple tools, play, yes, that's what we want, back, so let's save that, field 7, Let's do our stuff now. This would be one left. Stick it on convoy. Activated. Let's leave everything else as it is. First waypoint. Drive. Frozen. There he goes. Right, second one. Oh, he's done that thing where he doesn't lower the header. Have you had that with some mods? They don't lower the header, and of course I'm... Like, I'm so basic sometimes. There he is. Get in the combine! You have to stop it, you have to drive it and stop it, and then the head drops and opens. There we go, see? Head of drops now. It's a weird thing. When he does it on some mods as well. So if I start with the header down, this will be fine. Uh, field 7. Let's go to field work. This will be one right, that's correct. And we will put it in the vehicle convoy. And we will go. I'll put it on nearest first waypoint, should have done that. There we go. 3,000 head sheep farm, that's what we call a nightclub. <laughs> Brilliant arcs. Brilliant. Oh look, we've got swath in here. Oh, well, we'll leave it. Right, they're running nice. They're running nice. And we will go and dump this load. Where's all the fun if it would work flawlessly? Exactly. Wouldn't be farming then, would it? Wouldn't be farming then. Looking forward to some nice work from the Expendables guys again, just thinking about that with this big Ford. They do some awesome, awesome mods. Lots of uh, customization on them as well, which is nice. Randomised breakdown mod, I would love that.
Oh, Savage Cadence come in there with the Savage comment. I'm going to say Savage Cadence 9 based on that comment. And it's probably past its bedtime. Right, there we go. Let's get this unloaded. And their pickup, yeah. Not too often though for breaks. Yeah, I agree with that wall though. Although the, the, uh, they need to fix the repair costs on the on FS22 as well. What if somebody got a 16 grand uh, repair bill after ploughing a field for 20 minutes or something? Yeah. That's a big oil change, right? Right, there we go. Makes it a bit more realistic for buying used machinery. It does, it does, you're right. Yeah. There's got to be a happy medium. I wonder if it could just implement it on used machinery. Five, yeah, five grand a tractor to maintain it as a year is, is a lot. I can't tell if my tractors need repainting because they're covered in mud. As it should be. So this is the field. They're, they're, seven is a massive field. I think seven could be one of the biggest fields on the map. So I'd be intrigued to see how far the combines get around. We are on oats though, so it's uh, maybe a slightly less... Uh, Args is baiting me. <laughs> or is he baiting Savage Caden? Right. Come on, Combines. See if you can get all the way around here. You're totally not going to get all the way around here. See if we can jump into one. Take our best guesstimate as to how much further they're going to get. Oh, okay. 65% and he's done that and that. Are we going to say that's halfway? No, probably ever so slightly less. Probably want to park the trailer up here somewhere. Or, well. Sixty-eight percent. Oh, I don't know. This could work. Oh, welcome home, Scott. Todd Templars, five hundred seventy mods for FS22 on Mod Network. I would say about ten of them are worth downloading. We'll stop for that V dip. Do we reckon, Waldo? Yeah, I think you might be right. It's probably going to stop right at the peak of that V, isn't it? About as far as I can get from where the... where the truck needs to be. It's 
Savage Caden, do I have 22 yet? Um, yes. You should um, check out some of our vids already. I've already done. Totally agree, Waldo. Absolute rubbish at the moment. I wouldn't touch any of them with the barge pole. They're probably full of errors. And uh, I'll probably not let your game perform as it, well as it probably should. All bar one, Scorpion, just to rub you American boys in it. Still got the cellophane on it. And I did pay for it, for the grumpy people who were slagging me off in my chat the other day that I got a free copy of the game and then was putting ads on my YouTube channel as well. Sorry, Scott. I've got a hat too. I've got my press pack as well. You want to see that? I didn't do an unboxing because it turned up really late. Kind of unboxed it now though. And the chocolate got eaten very quickly by the kid. I did open this version. My beacon is out. Olive oil from Hope Bay are on. So I, I got my press pack late because I, I uh, live in a country where people decided they didn't want to be part of Europe anymore. So now we get uh, everything delivered late and we have to pay tax on it. Right. It's too far away. <laughs> All that fuss and moving about now, doggers come to see me. She's like, what are you doing? Waldo, your guess was on the money. There we go. We're still in Europe. <laughs> yeah, technically we're still in Europe as a, as a physical entity. As a political pawn, we are very much not. <laughs> Upgrading to fan attack gear has got... Re yes! My, d my, uh, my DD base. I think I had to part with another £85 to get it delivered was held to ransom by UPS. I'm pretty sure all of the uh, all of the big couriers are adding a premium onto it. There he goes. Of course he's going to move.
Uh, it's not just import tax well though, it's 20% VAT. They're adding on, or certainly some sort of VAT. It's bad. Right. Is that too far away? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it just stings your wall though, doesn't it? When you kind of think, oh, I've shelled out 500 quid for something. And then it comes and you've got to pay another best part of 500, of 50 quid or 60 quid for it. Or more. Is that him done? Yep. Right, we're all systems go. Yes, skunk, you can have a look inside. There you go. It's an Expendables modding one. It's uh, the customization one. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's in the mod pack. So with the LTL 9000. There you go. It's in the mods for this. So you've got that option. Semi-long. You've got an even longer semi. Uh, hook lift. Uh, flatbed. Flatbed water load, flatbed with ramps. If you want to go racing at the weekends, you've got a dump bed in there as well for tipping stuff out. I think the uh, I think the tip animations may be a little bit broken on that. Never used it actually. Um, and then a short semi. But then if you go to the to the long, um. Wheel brand, you can change those up to nice grippy Mitises, uh, Michelin's, Nokian's, Lizard, um, look, Snow Chains, which is quite cool. Uh, GPS, obviously, if I've got it set up. Uh, nice exhausts, dual exhausts, big stacks, quite nice. Got a sun visor option on the front as well, which you can turn on and off. Look, I mean, look at this. <laughs> like toolboxes, fuel tanks. You can take them on and off. Um, you've got different light settings, air horns, fenders, uh, tinted windows, tag axle, so you can put a third axle on it if you want, which is quite nice. Put the racks on it as well on the back. Trailer attaches, and then loads of engine options. Really, really nice. So, enjoy, because it's in the download pack. Right, we're going to let these combines run, I think, and I think we'll call it there. That was good fun. Really enjoyed coming back to Bull's Gap. But I do think it might be our last trip. We'll see. We'll see. We might do something a bit different. But it sounds to me like you guys are happy... Uh, see some more FS19 content because I do think it's going to be a struggle to keep things fresh with 22 at the moment um, just with the limitations on maps and mods that we've got available obviously mods are going to be coming thick and fast so uh, we shall uh, we shall keep you updated as and when things are happening keep doing the YouTube shorts as well so if anybody's got any questions on 22 that I haven't answered yet or you don't know anything to do uh, what to do with give me a shout and I will um, I'll try and help you out I'm quite enjoying those and they're relatively quick to put together so it's it's kind of nice content I can respond pretty quick to you guys and get it done that way so um, so there you go
Uh, thank you very much, as always, for your company. It is much appreciated. Um, don't forget to leave a like on the way out if you haven't already. And uh, we will uh, we will see you all again very soon. Take care. Have a good one. Bye for now. Bye-bye.